What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing a spicy chicken sandwich for you guys with the money that I got from the ad revenue from the video criticizing the English community tier list. Um, I believe in that video I said I was gonna buy a sandwich from Popeyes, but for some reason I find myself in Korea, I believe the south one. Um, as you can see I'm clearly not Korean, I don't speak a lick of Korean. I probably know about as much Korean as I know Arabic, which is to say I can only understand this language to be some kind of combination of squares and circles, but in any case, um, there's a pretty well-known local chain here called Mom's Touch. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mom's Touch. And uh, I got a spicy chicken thigh sandwich from them which I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. Now, I'm not going to be editing, the, editing this video because I don't have access to any kind of editing software, so we'll see how this goes. And also, uh, yeah, here, like, nobody speaks English. And then, in some ways, it's been a very, how do I say it? freeing because I can say slurs in public nobody bats an eye like I'll just be walking down the street and I'll blurt out iron blood or KMS or sometimes I'll even speak French and nobody really gets offended so it's kind of nice but yeah I am trying to find my way home back to France um, if anybody knows the way feel free to let me know in the comments okay so before I begin reviewing this chicken sandwich uh, I should state some of the biases that I may have in regards to my taste. So, while I'm here, I've been eating about five meals a day with snacks in between, so I'm not really going to be giving it any positive points, any, any bonus points, just because I'm hungry. I'm not hungry at all. So, uh, yeah. Holy shit, this is going to be trash. Now, for fried chicken in general, I like the texture of the Japanese karaage, but for seasoning, I do like the Popeye's patty seasoning that they use. I don't think they use the same thing for the regular fried chicken because it tastes super bland to me, but they got the sandwich down right. Um, I've had Chick-fil-A too. It's all right, but I don't think it's as good as Popeye's. Oh yeah, speaking of which, right before I started recording, I actually nicked myself right here with the $1 razor blade that I got from Daiso, like an idiot. So yeah, hopefully that's not too distracting. Maybe I'll try, try to hide it like this, but... Um, what else? Oh yeah, Korea is pretty well known for their uh, style of fried chicken as well. I think it's pretty good, but because the sauce is so sweet, you can, I, if you, I notice that I tend to get sick of it pretty quickly. Um, like the red, sweet, and spicy sauce they use. And what I noticed about most of the food in Korea is that they really like to make everything sweet. Like, I had an egg sandwich, and it had, like, sir sugar syrup in it. They make their fried chicken sweet. I had a shoyu ramen, and the broth was sweet. Uh, fried chicken, yeah, I already said that. Burgers, I had a burger, like a beef burger, and it was sweet. Hot dogs are sweet, so I'm getting kind of sick of the sweet tasting everything. And they also like to deep fry everything and pour cheese all over it. But I think it's more like a modern thing. I don't think traditional Korean food is like that, but I'm not a super big fan of that either. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up. And have a look. Right, so they've got lettuce in there. Oh, it's upside down. Lettuce, chicken patty. They use thigh, whereas Popeyes uses uh, chicken breast. I do prefer thigh meat, but Popeyes makes their chicken breast very moist and tender, so it's fine for that. 
They also have onions in there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, as well as pickles. And I believe that is ketchup, or it might be some kind of hot sauce. All right, let's give it a try. This is the spicy chicken thigh burger from Mom's Touch. All right, so it's sweet. The sauce is sweet. There's no mayo in it. I'm not the biggest mayo fan in the world, but I think mayo in a chicken burger is a must. That's just my personal opinion. Um, once again, it's sweet and I'm sick of it. <laughs> Maybe if you're, you know, you got a sweet tooth and you just arrived at Korea, it could be pretty good. I mean, it's well seasoned, I'd say. Uh, the spice level is higher than Popeye's, and I think they even have an extra spicy one. Let me just take a sip of my hazelnut latte here. Now, like most of the food that I've had here, I'd say it's somewhere between decent and good, uh, decent and good. Nothing great, I would say. Nothing really wowed me so far and um, I'm not talking about fine dining of course just uh, regular fast food or diner places or bars because uh, Lord knows this channel is not you know bringing in the cash like that in any case so maybe I'll rate it out of 10 I'd probably say Popeyes in my opinion is a 9 out of 10 if you did something homemade and you know the bun is fresh and you nailed all the all the sizes of each ingredient then it could be elevated to a ton but since it's a fast food place there's always room for a little improvement this one i'd say it's a seven out of ten it's still good but i'm just a little sick of the sweet flavor from the red sweet and hot sauce maybe i'll try a different one another day um see how that goes maybe try to avoid the red sauce okay so yeah that's it for the chicken sandwich review which i bought with the ectl money i checked the video this morning and i think it generated just under 10 us dollars the sandwich itself was 4,800 won, which is about half of what the video has racked up. Actually, less than half, so I could probably buy another one with the money I got from that video. Um, if you watch me for the Azurlane content, don't worry. That's not going away. In fact, I'll mention a couple things related to Azurlane. Uh, I got my Friedrich, Friedrich, Friedrich Carl to level 120. And I did some damage comparisons between her and Drake. I was thinking that she might be able to match Drake, but I was pretty disappointed. She does seem to be a, tit, uh, a tier under Drake in terms of just raw damage output. But she does have a lot of shield ignoring mechanics. So in campaign stages, it might be able to put her a little bit over Drake. Uh, I still somewhat doubt it though, because the gap was pretty big. Obviously, I don't have the data with me right now, but you'll just have to take my word on it. Which means um, 
Yeah, I have some doubts about Prince Oigen as well in that case. Uh, Curl is definitely not on the level of Drake, even though Drake herself is not particularly strong these days. So Prince Oigen, definitely pending testing. My Noshiro is almost 125, but I don't know if I'll make a video when I finish leveling her to 125 because I can't edit, so I don't know what it's going to look like, but maybe uh, Rodney Metaclear or something with her in it. Uh, Cian Annie is almost upon us, I think, just now. Um, they put out a tweet saying that it was going to be a French event, so I'll be looking forward to that. Um, depending on when I find my way back home, the video for the data mine breakdown might come a day late. Uh, so just a heads up for that. And if there's anything else important, I'll let you guys know. And yeah, what else did I do I need to cover? Right, I, when I first got here, you know, I was busy looking around, just walking. And it was actually for the first time since I started playing as early and I was having trouble staying under the oil cap. And I finally started using the two times efficiency books. And I even bought the 5,000 oil uh, thing in Operation Siren. And then after I bought those, um, it became a lot more manageable, but yeah, I never thought I would see the day when a Zerlane was into my life. Um, and oh yeah, if any of you guys are going to go on vacation, make sure you get enough rest and stay hydrated or you'll get a sore throat and it's going to ruin everything. Trust me. Um, if you didn't enjoy this video, um, you know, collect your tears in a bottle and send it to Korea so they can use it to season their food because everything is way too sweet and not salty enough. All right, that's it for this video. See ya.